morning YouTube. Today is the big day. I'm super, super, super duper duper excited because we're going to do my second consultation, number two. It's living la vida vega with Eddie and Bree. Watch them as they try to start a family with Baron Mayhem outside of Chicago. It's living la vida vega. Let's start the show. Right now, I'm just a little ball of nerves. I'm so excited for the doctor's appointment, and I don't even, I don't know. I'm just really excited. Finally to get some answers, finally to see what's going on, how the test results went. I can't wait to share the news with Eddie and so that we can make the decision on what we're going to do, whether that be IVF or um, IUI. I don't know, but I'm super excited to let you guys know and I just can't wait for my appointment. I can't wait. I think this is the dress I'm gonna wear for anniversary picture. So I also ended up getting a cute little black tank top because you know, I only have seven of those already. And um, a cute little kimono from Target. I think the shirt was like five bucks and this was seven and my dress. So I was really excited with my dress that I found for the anniversary pictures because the other one that I bought from Nasty Gal just did not fit and I don't want to return it because it's so beautiful. Alright, so number one, your x-ray is normal. Great. That's the one you have done at Adventist Hospital? Yes. Who did it? They did it? They did it. They did it, right. So this is normal, okay? So that's a good news. Okay. And number two, your blood test, your FSH, LH, normal, collector is good, and um, that your estrogen level is slightly elevated, but not, not too much okay. on that one. And um, then some other test, your husband's spinal count. Yeah. His total count is, let me see what the count is. It's on the low side though. It's low? Yeah, on the low side. Okay. And let's see. Okay, his semen analysis, which we did on 22nd of April. His volume was good, but the total mortal sperm are only 18.5 million, okay. which is very low. And then only 5% are normal. 5% are normal? Are normal, which is low too. So, oh uh, more than 14 is considered normal. Between 5 and 14 is fertile, less than 5 is subfertile. So, in the fertile range, but the actual sperm which can get you pregnant, I'm not good with math. Are you good with math? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, it's very low sperm count though. Okay. And, um, so based on that, I think IVF is the only way to get pregnant. Okay. Which would be the most convenient uh, for you mm -hmm. and better chance of success, at least like 40% or so in one attempt. Okay. And uh, without going to the insemination expenses and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I saw something out there that said mini IVF versus IVF. Yeah. What do you think? That is for people who have a low value reserve. Mm, okay. Like, uh, like, how old are you? 23? Twenty-three. Yeah. So just imagine if you are instead of being twenty-three or twenty-two, that your husband is twenty-two. Yeah. So instead of being twenty-three, you are uh, thirty-nine. Okay. And your FSH LH was abnormal, and you do not have many eggs. In that case, you can use mini IVF. Okay. But at your age, when you're young and you have good ovaries. The only reason to go through IVF will be your husband's low sperm count. Okay. And with the low normal sperm count also. Is there anything you can do to raise that? Or uh, or is uh, it just something that... No, once the sperm get deformed, you cannot change it. Okay, so... It's just like if you're making cookies, mm -hmm. and you have a, a pretty deformed cookie cutter, all the cookies going to be different, not perfect. Okay. So that won't work. So that's forever? It's, it's always going to be low? Whatever sperm he has, they're going to always stay like that. Okay, so whatever conceiving naturally is really, really low anyway, right? It's very limited. Okay. Yeah. It's How anxious are you, you to get 
to have a kid? <laughs> We're pretty anxious. Okay. Is could his low sperm count or is that maybe why I had a had a miscarriage? Is that because it just wasn't could be wasn't that quality? Uh, maybe not a good quality sperm for Lazy egg. That's okay. a possibility. But twenty percent of women have a miscarriage anyway okay. all the time. Okay. Well, I think. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You you have any questions yet yourself? Um. No. I I actually thought that maybe it could have been some something with me because this last cycle I only had a one day period, period which was mm -hmm. I've never had before. Yeah, but uh, surprisingly, you left as a normal. That's though. fine. Yeah, okay. as a normal. You don't have polycystic ovaries. Oh, good. Uh, all those tests are normal, and also your uh, uh, BMI is 28, which is not like thir 35 or 40, which is not good mm -hmm. good to get pregnant. So, and your cycles are always 20, 32 regular cycles. Yeah. I think it's probably not any factor there. Okay. And the miscarriage you had is just one of random events, most likely. Um, with IVF, would I be put on a medication? Yeah, some of the medication you, you use so you can make uh, many eggs. Mm -hmm. And then we do the ultrasound and then get your eggs out, sort of uh, vaginally. Mm -hmm. And then get your husband's good sperm, make the embryo, put back into you. Okay. Yeah. Is there any downtime for that? Uh, like the day you get the embryo out, uh, eggs out, you can't go to work. Okay. And the day we put the embryo, you should take a day off that day too. The rest of you go back to work. Okay. Um. Uh, again, fertility is a very elective process, not an emergency. It's yeah. not something life-threatening situation. So if you want your husband to see a urologist, you can do it. Okay. Because he may want to do some blood tests on him to see if any medicine can help him. They may help to increase his sperm count, but cannot change his abnormal morphology. Okay. That is a constant, but the, uh, the number of sperm may change. Okay. Yeah. Or if you want, <clears throat> other option if you want, you can try fertility medicine for a few cycles if you don't have coverage for, you have no insurance, right? I do have insurance, but it, they don't, it cover, don't cover yeah. this. And being a young couple, you may have limited resources at this time, maybe. So mm -hmm. if you want, you can uh, uh, try some simple process if that helps you. But three cycles of Clomid costs you as much as money you're going to use for the IVF anyway. Because I have already done the Clomid for I don't, four or five cycles. Yeah, so you're not so a I good don't, candidate for yeah, that. Yeah, I don't. So best thing is to save some money and go to IVF. Okay. Um, and I'll be happy to give you some discount or you can talk to uh, uh, Tina in our office. Okay. Yeah, she might be able to help you. Up there I saw um, like a financial something about IVF. Yeah. Is that something that you would the recommend? Office, yeah, the yeah. office can talk to you. Okay. Yeah, there, there is some, I think there's an organization which uh, lends you money for that. Okay. Because yeah. I think that's probably something that, that we would do. We just wanted to make sure that everything was, or what was going on first. So and thank as you so much. I can see from all the results, everything is good with you. The only thing is your husband's uh, morphology. So yeah, low count morphology. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, doctor. You're Are you taking vitamins? Yes, I'm taking prenatal vitamins. You want to talk to Tina today? If she's available? Yes. I would love okay. to talk to Tina. I'll tell and Lily to get you. Okay, thank you. Well, that was super unexpected. Um, we found out that Eddie has low sperm count and morphology. It was such a surprise to me because when I called earlier last week, they said his was fine. So I'm really bummed out. And they said IVF's the only way. They sent me downstairs to speak with a financial person to see how we can pay for IVF. So the last thing that I wanted to do on this vlog was cry again. But I'm just like heartbroken because I didn't, I don't know why they would tell me that my husband's um, sperm was okay if it wasn't because it gave us kind of like a false hope that everything would be okay and that it would be smooth sailing but now hearing that um, he has high morphology rate and 
low sperm count and the only way that I'll probably get pregnant is by IVF is kind of a big bummer. Especially since IVF is so darn expensive. Um, but I did speak with the financial advisor and we are going to go ahead with that. I don't know how soon or I don't know. I have to talk to Eddie and it just it hurts me because I know he's going to be so hurt. He's going to feel like it's all his fault and I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe he'll go see a urologist like Dr. Rana said to see if we can raise it. But he said that there's nothing to be done for the morphology, right? Well, it's like a cookie cutter. I mean, if he has high morphology, he has high morphology. They're all just, they're all going to be that way. It just sucks when you really want to start a family and it feels like you can't. Well, I had a chance to calm down a little bit, but I still don't know how I'm going to tell Eddie about this because I know he's going to be super sad because we've talked about it before. You know, we've talked about if it was something that it was my fault, how would I feel and how would you feel? And I just know that it's going to really kill him and I don't. I don't, I don't want to have to do, I don't want to have to tell him, but I kind of do have to tell him. And I used to joke around saying that I would be relieved if it was something that it was his fault. So I wouldn't feel bad. But that was only joking. I don't, I don't feel any, any better that it's not my fault. Because it's not really anybody's fault. You know what I mean? It's just a sucky situation, especially, especially that we're so young. I mean, I guess it kind of just adds to the stink of it because when you think of people having infertility, it's just like something that doesn't happen to young people. It doesn't happen, but it does happen and it really sucks. Really sucks. Well, I just told him. He is really bummed about it, obviously. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll talk about it when we get home. I called the doctor's office to see if they could um, email me the results so that I could show him and we could talk about it. So, as soon as I got home and we talked about it with Eddie, I went straight to lay with him on the bed and we knocked out so we had a really long nap and I feel a little bit better but um it's still it is what it is and I guess we're gonna have to see how or when or what we're gonna do hi guys we'll see you tomorrow right. how beautiful does that sky look so beautiful so beautiful how bad does that nature smell pretty bad <laughs> very bad <laughs>